This is Braden. I'm with Link Dogs Reef. And today we're going to be showing off, uh, we're going to be installing a aqua ultraviolet UV sterilizer. We're going to be putting into our tank. Our tank has some dyno issues, that uh, some algae issues that we're trying to work through. And uh, it's just been annoying. We've been trying to keep it clean. We've done water changes. We've been doing everything we should. I've been stirring the sand bed and it just keeps coming back. So the goal is today is I got this, uh, this UV sterilizer. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna hook it up into our sump. Um, I'm gonna hook up probably this with our, our one inch um, tubing here. And I'm gonna close this off with this right here and tighten this up so that we can hopefully keep it tight. Um, we're gonna install the bulb. I might even try to install this union here to try to have uh, some some flow regulation with it. Um, I, from what I read, bulk C or bulk reef supply um, does kind of recommend putting one of these on so that we have our flow kind of. You could you could adjust your flow because there's different with with these uh, UV sterilizers. There's different needs for different flows. Um, so a lower flow could be better for um, fish with ick, and a little bit higher flow can be good for things like algae and dinos. So I'm hoping that uh, all this gets installed correctly, that we can have, um, you know, have this all hooked up and ready to go and looking good. So um, yeah, we're gonna start here in a little bit and uh, we'll let you know, thanks. Hello, so I am just hooking up the CJ pump. The CJ pump is gonna, I tighten this down. This is a, a clamp, a plastic clamp. You definitely wanna use plastic. You do not wanna use metal. Metal is bad for aquariums. Um, I kinda tighten it with these uh, channel lock pliers to really lock it down. I think it's gonna be just fine sitting there. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of a, a CJ pump. I chose the Sinker 1.0 to give a little bit more flow. I initially was gonna do the 0.5, but I thought I'll get a little bit more flow and then I'm gonna try and hook um, this guy up um, to it and then I can use it as a kind of a flow regulator with that. So yeah, so um, this is going on next. I'm just gonna figure out sizing do that and then this piece here I figure will probably hook onto this and then I'll I don't know if I'm gonna tighten it or how I'll do that but that's kind of the guess and then the water will flow into that into where the return line goes so the theory is this is gonna go pump out go up through the UV sterilizer this is gonna be in the same area as the as the uh, skimmer and then it's gonna drain out from this, from the sterilizer, into the return pump area. So that they're in two separate sections and that return pump goes straight into the, uh, into the tank itself. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing if this works and we can get rid of some dinos. If not, we're gonna have to do a blackout or um, do a few other things. So anyways, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll kind of show you how we hook this up all in just a minute, thanks. The super nice ball valve. I'm hooking this up, which is a half inch um, line. The only thing is, I notice is that this and that is too loose to glue it. I don't think it's gonna glue very easily in there. So I might have to scrap this um, and just go straight from here into the sterilizer like this and then clamp and then uh so that'll go into there i'll get my clamps which is this guy throw that onto there tighten her up um i'm gonna probably cut this because this is too much length and then this is gonna hang on the side of the sump where this is gonna hook up and, and be plugged in so this might be a really quick uh video Looks like our filter sucks. So we're gonna be putting this right down in here, and then we're gonna hang our sterilizer off the side here and plug it in. And we got a couple new things, so it's gonna be over kind of by where we have all of our dosing equipment. 
and I'm hoping it'll fit there. So we're gonna put that in there and then in the back where the return is, is where we're gonna put all of our, uh, where we're gonna have the excess water come into. So hopefully this will work. I'm retrofitting, seeing the length, if I need to cut this uh, tubing, um, kind of where we need to go. So the way this works, um, when it when it shows up, when you get it, it has a, a sleeve that this um, that's in here that the water's gonna travel through. And you just put the bulb up through it. I didn't touch the glass. I try to be super careful about it. Um, so you put it up through there and then you're, and then you just tighten this to here um, and then you're ready to go. So I'm just kind of hooking this up, um, kind of small, small fitting and retrofitting it. Then I'm gonna take it outside and probably just run a little bit of RO or fresh water through it just to make sure that it's all um, leak free, obviously, before I just throw it in the tank because it's gonna be hanging off the side and I don't really wanna do that. So yeah, that's where we're at. So we're about to we're just gonna hook this up. Um, you're wet. We're just gonna test it out like a dry fit. I tighten all the connections. I just wanna make sure that before I'm pumping salt water and it's leaking into my sump pump, or my sump area, that I would have uh, this just kind of a, just a dry fit run just to see how it goes. Um, so yeah. We're also using RO water and not water from the hose. Yep, this is 100% RO water that we'll probably just put into the tank, or other fish tank, fresh water later. Okay. It is doing things. See, I just retrofitted this. Usually with these other ones, um, you have, um, it'll just flow water, but I didn't want to hear that in the tank. So what I did is, is I just retrofitted a one inch pipe into this and then just put a clamp on it. Hopefully it'll stay, it seems pretty solid. And then as it's flowing through the sump, you won't hear it as loudly. Um, we're mostly concerned with this area, this adapter. Um, it seems like it's dry, there's no issues. So what we'll probably do now, since this is hooked up, since this is working, now we're just gonna uh, hook this up into the tank and hopefully we'll see some results. Maybe we'll update you guys in a couple weeks if we hopefully see some differences. Like I said, I wasn't able to figure out and I might have to like um, do a little research and re retrofit this later, but I wasn't able to figure out how to do that, uh, that ball pump. Cause I don't think this tubing would work super well with it. I'd almost need something a little bit more solid. So anyways, uh, yeah. Okay, so we utilize our sump to about its full capacity. I don't think we can fit anything else in here. Um, so here's our return pump, our, our pump that we're using, it's right here. It is a, uh, it is pumping up through here and up into this UV sterilizer. There's a light down there that tells you that it's on. And then I've hooked this up and this area is going into the return pump area. And so um, it's bubbling a lot, which I'm gonna have to figure that out, but at least it's not blowing a ton of air into the sump uh, or into the main display tank. There is a bit because at the beginning I had to make some adjustments. So there's a ton of like air bubbles in here and stuff, but uh, no leaks. I mean, kind of keeping an eye on that since it's kind of scary, the thought of that, but um, basically water's running through there down into the return. So they're both in different spots. So this one's uh, running out of the sump area and then it's going through here and then it's going out to the return pump area so that they're kind of in separate little little spots there. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, 
I hope that this will help us with our with our uh, algae problems. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, we're just trying to get our uh, tank to look prettier. It's been kind of a it's kind of been going through an ugly phase. By the way, our tank's only about seven or eight months old. Um, got too many, a lot of corals in here. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of maintenance stuff we've been working on almost daily trying to get, uh, and I think I'm finally just done with it. So I thought a pretty good idea would be to get a UV sterilizer and kind of fix it up, uh, or hook it up. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or if I did something stupid, I am not a pro at this. I just thought, um, I looked up you know, roughly how much uh, gallons per, per hour I'm supposed to be hooking up to this UV sterilizer. And uh, most of it, I info I got bulk reef supply and reef to reef, um, just to kind of get a clue of what's going on because these UV sterilizers are kind of crazy. Our tank is a Red Z uh, E170 Max. And um, yeah, so we're just uh, hoping this helps and makes our tank better. So thanks for watching. Keep your nitrates low.